What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock options analysis guys. So we'll go over the data as for how the current option structures is looking for this coming week and this is for the expiration of guys well this particular week so that will be 3rd of May okay. So let's take a look at all of this. Um, I will do confluence here of the options with the technicals of Nvidia. Now, I will provide a background on technicals here as well, but that will be just a very quick summary because I did a video on NVIDIA already this week and check this out where I am talking about how bull strength meter is 100% right now in NVIDIA stock. So if you can check this video out before this particular video, it will give you already a lot of understanding on the technicals. And if you have already seen this video, that's awesome. So let's begin. Once I also let you know that none of this is any financial advice. This is only for education purposes. I'm just sharing my opinion here, guys. Nothing more than that. There is guarantee of nothing. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. Okay, so before jumping into options very quickly, I just want to set the stage if you haven't seen that video of my te NVIDIA's technical analysis that NVIDIA has a struck bullish structure right now. We are above 824 fully. We are above 20 and 50 days moving average also. We have formed this pivot as well of confirmed pivot after because we did close and break above 824 and um, which is a long position pivot now and also on hourly interval we are above uh, the trend line and also above the 200 hours moving average. that trend line was so important because that's where we were rejecting multiple times right one two three four and then we finally broke out with 824 break on a strong volume so um, so all these factors, parameters, has made NVIDIA structure, at least for uh, intraday, unless it breaks the 50 and 50 days moving average again in 824. But yeah, if that happens, that's a structural change again. But right now, the structure is to the upside. So, all right. So that's a bit of real quick, the gist of the price structure and action. But if you want to know more about technicals, how NVIDIA has been behaving, how to take any plays on it, Check that video out on my uh, channel that I, I did here, as I said, NVIDIA, this one. All right, so guys, let's jump into options and let's talk about it. So right off the bat, what we are seeing, well, so this is the black is not the cause, it's just the label error is wrong, they just ignore that. But black is the last closing price of NVIDIA and then your know, green are the calls options going into the expiration of this week and then red are the puts options. So. What, what are we seeing is that definitely we are seeing huge spikes in the calls. Uh, what we are not seeing is spikes on the put side. I do see good density on the put compared to the calls down here. These are outlying calls options for sure. But anyways, calls options, they are present at $900 the most. So is there a possibility of us? Guys, these are mostly rolled over calls into this expiration. Just remember that because... Um, if someone bought them on Friday, the the cost this is expensive as well. Just so you know, it's going for fifteen hundred dollars. They you have the contract, right? Um, so there's a cost to it as well. But anyways, nine hundred dollars is that's the possibility in the technicals? Absolutely. As just we talked about, the structure is looking bullish, right? Structure is bullish, even any pullback to 50 days moving average or 200 days, oh sorry, or $824 level. And it's more clear if you take a look at hourly interval. Any pullback to even the level of 847 is just a pullback on this thing. And this thing has a lot of room to continue high. $860 here is also just a potential of pullback. $849 just a potential of pullback. $900 is not far. How much range is Nvidia doing? NVIDIA is doing like $50 range almost, right? Average range is $47. So yeah, I mean, in one day, it can shoot above $900. So yep, 900 calls right now with the structure, with the possibility, and the price action is possible. It's very possible. Where's the next spike in the call? $950. Now, let's see the price of it, at least for now, where it's going for $950. It's going to be cheaper than the $900. Well, it's, uh, it's very cheap compared to, um, I mean, compared to the $900 call, right? 
um, which is going for 1500 this is going less than half of what $900 calls are going so 950 is that a possibility for the spike that is that we are seeing on the chart there and guys yeah like structure is bullish uh, and 950 is not that far away you know we what resist let's put the four hours actually let's see what strong resistance we have on until 950 guys once we capture 900 dollars you know or this 907 dollars if we are above it yeah this particular week nvidia has it can hit 950 but remember you have to make more than 950 in the stock price before your options will make you money in the expiration so let's say 955 it's a possibility okay but remember that is then again testing the almost the high right almost the high again so you will expect some resistance here so your upside potential is definitely a bit capped you know uh, based on how price would react here and but I would say that on the calls, any calls are possible, but not more than $950 call in my opinion. So if, if I sp see a spike of 1000, we do have a good option sitting there, but I don't think guys, um, that is, that will make enough money. I mean, that that is still possible because structure is upside and Nvidia is making like moves like nothing else right now, right? But it's too far-fetched. It's above the technicals. It's above the all-time highs. So there is things stacked against thousand dollars at least so if this price of high would have been let's say 1050 or so then yeah we could have said okay thousand is also a possibility but so i would say at this point if you want to average out on not spending much money in these uh you know down payments then anything between 900 and 950 is fine but remember, guys, there is no, no guarantee. Just because that's where traders are betting the money, that's not the guarantee. However, technicals are favoring upside right now. Now, it is up to you, though, how you want to trade these options. Because I trade with the shares because it allows me to set my stop loss. Now, how you are going to set the stop loss, how much you will see the options degradation, and all of that extra stuff, that's something you have to figure out on your broker and on your own. All right. I'm just providing just my opinion as if what type of options could make money, provided the technicals hold. And check out that other video as well that I talked about on NVIDIA because that will let you know about uh, technicals a lot. So that's that. So yes, calls are in the winning position where the price action and the structure is right now on NVIDIA. Let's talk about the puts. $800 puts. Is that a possibility? So let's go to the daily interval. Where is $800? It's right over here, $800. Now, guys, the thing is that structure is not favoring that. How much is $800 calls, sorry, puts must be going for very cheap, I'm pretty sure. Yep, $285 only, per, corn, per option, I mean, okay? Um, you just times this by 100, the price, right? Um, again, this is for if you are holding options till expiration. If you are trading options just in and out, that's a different story. But you you have to check, as I said, everything, how, how much your broker is charging fees, if there is any um, cost of holding or degradation, how long can you hold, how much degradation you will have, that's up to you. But then why not just do the shares, right? I mean, your choice, whatever you do. Um, okay, so 2.85, sorry. The eight hundred dollars is that a possibility though? So the structure is not in that direction, guys. Nvidia will have to change the structure before eight hundred is even in the target because that the direction of the stock is to the upside right now. So if by Tuesday Nvidia can close below eight hundred and twenty-four again, then yes, eight hundred is possible by Friday. Otherwise, uh, no. Otherwise, no. That's that applies to all the puts below eight hundred twenty-four is. If, if NVIDIA can break below 824. Now, anything closer to above 824 and um, and where the price is right, 977, for those type of puts, I, they're, well, guys, very expensive. And at that, those type of puts, you, you can only trade them, I would say. It's not 
to hold through the expirations or until expiration. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you have if you are trying to trade any put that is between around 845 or even 824 to 877 guys these these puts are in the pullback zone right now at least so they are not to hold until expiration but if you are trading intraday or so and instead of shares you like trading options then sure but for friday expiration that has to be below 824 if we break that level or we lose the structure again right so yeah that that's still quite way struck that the direction of nvidia is not to the downside so your puts options are not to be held until expiration at least for now the where the price action is right now the structure is on nvidia all right so guys that's pretty much it for this video and um i just wanted to show you what the options data is looking like on nvidia and also you know the chart and how it puts together with the technicals on nvidia and what are the possibilities so if you found this video helpful valuable hit the like subscribe and with that i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye